Okay. Oh. Uh, shut up. Okay. We'll stop. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna grab this. And we're just gonna put it down in there. Just slap it in there for now. Don't worry about the bolt. Let's get this other one on. Okay. This one? Yep. And it'll go in. You got to pull your shaft out just a little bit. Kind of get it, you know, in its spot. There she goes. Perfect. Right, we're going to have to adjust it a little yep. more. So now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to fish that hole a little bit that's on the outside. You're going to have to turn that shaft around until you line that up with the holes that are on the other side to be able to get that bolt down in it. And so basically after that, um, just screw it in. Oh, the other thing too, come around here. The other thing too, in order to get this bolt in here, um, when you push this bolt up, it hits this uh, hydraulic line. Back up just a little bit, Aiden. So you have to take this bracket off right here. There's a bracket that's right here. Just make sure that you're, when you put these back on, that these uh, each one of these lines are in between these nuts. You see that right here? There's nuts right here that this goes on to. You, you don't want your line to be up here, and then you start cranking down on it because it's going to end up punching a hole through your hydraulics. But you do have to lift this up a little bit so you can get that bolt out of the way. And it's just two bolts that are in there right there. And um, anyways, that's a half inch uh, uh, nuts that'll go in there. And so you'll turn around and you'll slap your bolts right back on there. So that's, that's the only difference between the passenger side versus the driver side. You don't have a problem with the other side because you're not dealing with it. You know, the hydraulic lines run down this side. So yeah. as you can see, we're good there. I'll go ahead and put these on if you want to go ahead and move forward with the other one. And so basically, uh, just get the lines back together. We'll put the hydraulics back on, and we should be set. Now, um, I don't know if it's possible or not, but just to kind of throw it out there, you got to fight the urge to test your work on one side before the other side's done. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm just setting these up and then I'll do the final testing at the end. Go. Damn it, Daddy. You put that thing on there now. This is stuck. Yeah. The hose. Oh, hang on. Hang on, don't, don't. I'm gonna pop that. There we go. Hold on, Daddy. We're Alright, so we got that all set up. That line's secure. That line's secure. He's going to go ahead and put that on the other one. That's just some minor things, some small things to do. All right, I'm gonna take over the phone real quick. So basically, uh, you got zert fittings here for this one. You wanna squirt it out until there's just a little bit of grease that comes out, and then you know you got it full. And then on this one down here, it's down below, or no, I'm sorry, on the side. You have the grease fittings on the side right there. And um, that's how you fill those ones. These ones over here on the back side are underneath, so you have to go right here with the grease, the zert fitting there. And then, then this one over here is gonna be inside the, um, the, let me go up underneath there, but there's a 90 that's up in here. Let's see if I can do this with my head turned <laughs> right there. So that zert fitting, you just push it straight up in there and then, uh, you'll be able to get this point, that point, that point, and then the other points down there. So anyways, that's kind of much, that's pretty much uh, all summed up. Son's going to take a zip strip and he's going to put on that line. So that way you 
you don't want any brush or anything to hit those hydraulic lines and, and make you shut down. So um, we just put a zip strip on there just to make sure that uh, that stuff never gets damaged. And so uh, it's just another little precaution. But it's a cool little tractor and stuff. Like I said, I wanted to make this video because um, I didn't want to spend $600 to have it. Uh, I didn't want to spend $600 to have it done. And, and uh, I figured I could do it myself. Anyways, uh, very, very simple. I don't, I'm not a mechanic by no means. And so, uh, there's probably right or wrong ways that what, compared to what I did, but, uh, it is what it is. I mean, uh, I got the job done and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. I didn't have to take out a second mortgage. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys have, be blessed. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Like I said, I looked and looked and looked for, uh, how to change the seals in a B7800 LA402 and I couldn't find anything. It was just other tractors. And so if you've got this year making model, I'm sure it's going to come up in the search. Um, this should help you for the DIY guys like me. Anyways, uh, you guys be blessed. Thank you for your attention and uh, do me a favor if you would just hit like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell button and you'll get notifications when we have new videos out. Um, we do a lot of stuff with the kids and stuff. Uh, we, we call ourselves uh, Knuckleheads Aquaponics. And uh, we have a, you'll see on our channel, we have lots of aquaponics videos and stuff. It's what we enjoy doing. It's the farm life, guys, and that's what we truly enjoy doing. You know, you got your pup with you. You know, you got your son over here with his buddy. Aiden, you ever learn anything like that? No. That's pretty interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Something you get to learn. So, anyways... Hopefully you all have a be uh, beautiful day. Be blessed, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. There's the microgreens that we were growing. So, so start to finish. Y'all take care.